Uh, today I'm reading from uh, Luke chapter 24, verses 13 through 35. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. They were conversing about all the things that had happened while they were conversing and debating. Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, said to him in reply, Are you only a visitor to Jerusalem and who does not know about the things that have taken place in these last few days? And he replied to him, What sort of things? And they told him about the things that had happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all people how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But, were, but we were hoping that he was going to be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning and they did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of us, some of those with us, went to the tomb and found the things just as the woman described. But him they did not see. And he went and he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all the prophets spoke! Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village they were going, he gave the impression that he was going to go a little farther. But they urged him, Hey, stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went and he stayed with them. And as it happened, while he was with them at table, he took the bread, said a blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. But he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem where they found and gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying that the Lord had been raised and had appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he had made known to them in the breaking of bread. You know, what's jumping out at me here is, uh, is we, we can be told all along, you know. He, he, Jesus prophesied and taught that, especially towards the end of his ministry, that he was going to die a horrible death and basically this was going to happen, but that he would rise on the third day. And I would imagine that for anyone, even in today, uh, in today's world, that would be a, that'd be a big pill to swallow not used to seeing people come back to life after the third day even with there being reports of us bodies missing or whatever you know the god's ways sometimes are so magnificent it's hard to believe i've had a few of those moments in my life where things have happened it's been so hard to believe and can only be explained by god and that's the trick part isn't it? as we go through life to be as we have bad things happen. It's not even something so great as our Savior being taken from us as though we perceive that to continue on our road of faith. I think in, in this time, you know, with the, the whole coronavirus and everything going on, you know, we, we, we're tempted to fall away from our faith and we're tempted to be secluded from one another, but it's also a great opportunity to pull together the choice is ours. We have free will. So what are we going to do when the bad stuff happens? Are we going to flee or are we going to fight? Are we going to fight for our faith and fight for what we believe in? Or are we going to flee and try to save our lives and in that, lose it? I don't know. That's all I got to say about that.